Andrew Carnegie, born November 25, 1835, Dunfermline, Fife, Scotland died August 11, 1919, Lenox, Massachusetts, U.S., Scottish-born American industrialist who led the enormous expansion of the American steel industry in the late 19th century. He was also one of the most important philanthropists of his era. You cannot push anyone up a ladder unless he is willing to climb a little himself. As I grow older, I pay less attention to what men say. I just watch what they do. Every act you have ever performed since the day you were born was because you wanted something. Aim for the highest, and when it's a question of God's almighty spirit, never say I can't. Concentrate your energies, your thoughts, and your capital. The wise man puts all his eggs in one basket and watches the basket. The secret of success lies not in doing your own work, but in recognizing the right man to do it. People who are unable to motivate themselves must be content with mediocrity, no matter how impressive their other talents. Immense power is acquired by assuring yourself and your secret reveries that you were born to control affairs. Concentrate your energy, your thoughts, and your capital. Surplus wealth is a sacred trust which its possessor is bound to administer in his lifetime for the good of the community. I believe that the true road to preeminent success in any line is to make yourself master of that line. The men who have succeeded are men who have chosen one line and stuck to it. The way to become rich is to put all your eggs in one basket and then watch that basket. Think of yourself as on the threshold of unparalleled success. A whole, clear, glorious life lies before you. Achieve. Achieve. My heart is in the work. Do your duty and a little more and the future will take care of itself. The man who acquires the ability to take full possession of his own mind may take possession of anything else to which he is justly entitled. The experienced in affairs always rate the man whose services can be obtained as a partner as not only the first consideration, but such as to render the question of his capital scarcely worth considering, for such men soon create capital, while, without the special talent required, capital soon takes wings. No, your majesty, I do not like kings, but I do like a man behind a king when I find him. There are instances of millionaires' sons unspoiled by wealth, who, being rich, still perform great services in the community. Such are the very salt of the earth, as valuable as, unfortunately, they are rare. You are what you think. So just think big, believe big, act big, work big, give big, forgive big, laugh big, love big, and live big. There is no class as pitiably wretched as that which possesses money and nothing else. The morality of compromise sounds contradictory. Compromise is usually a sign of weakness or an admission of defeat. Strong men don't compromise, it is said, and principles should never be compromised. You must capture and keep the heart of the original and supremely able man before his brain can do its best. Air castles are often within our grasp late in life, but then they charm not. No man can become rich without himself enriching others. Of every thousand dollars spent in so-called charity today, it is probable that $950 is unwisely spent, so spent, indeed as to produce the very evils which it proposes to mitigate or cure. The first man gets the oyster, the second man gets the shell. All honor's wounds are self-inflicted. Speculation is a parasite feeding upon values, creating none. Wealth is not to feed our egos, but to feed the hungry and to help people help themselves. Concentrate your energies, your thoughts, and your capital. The wise man puts all his eggs in one basket and watches the basket.